Hey there guys, Paul here from the engineeringmindset.com. In this video, we're going to be understanding the term refrigeration ton. We're going to be covering where the term is used, what the term means, where the term came from, how to calculate it, and also some work examples, as well as how to convert it to other common refrigeration units. Now, the term refrigeration ton is commonly used in North America, and it's a unit of measurement for the cooling capacity of a refrigeration machine. It has a few variants and it's sometimes called a ton of refrigeration or just RT for short. The term refrigeration ton is a little bit confusing to many people. It has nothing to do with the weight of the machine. It only relates to the amount of cooling that the machine can produce. The term used to be used in many other countries, but the majority of the world has switched over to SI metric units of kilowatts of cooling. However, some people and manufacturers will still refer to equipment rated in refrigeration tons. If you're outside North America and have some older refrigeration equipment on site, then this will likely be noted in refrigeration tons. If you're working in North America, then you'll often see large refrigeration plants such as chillers referred to in refrigeration tons, whereas smaller units are typically rated in BTUs. If you'd like to learn how chillers work, then check out our other videos on that subject. There's a link in the top right corner now, and you can check out some of our previous videos where we cover everything from how air and water cooled chillers work, split AC units, heat pumps and VRF units, etc, etc. The list goes on. Do check those out. Now the term refrigeration ton came about in the late 1800s. This is when blocks of ice were used in air handlers to provide cooling. They would literally order blocks of ice by the ton. This would then sit directly in the flow of the warmer supply air, which melted it and carried the cold air away into the building. So a ton of ice would provide a ton of cooling, and the equivalent amount of cooling later became available through vapor compression refrigeration machines. So a ton of refrigeration is how much heat needs to be removed from a US short ton of water to turn it into ice within 24 hours. This is only for the latent heat, so the water would need to be at 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the ice would then also still be at 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is only the energy to cause a phase change of the water to turn it from a liquid into a solid, so from water into ice. If the water was at room temperature, then you would need to remove more heat to bring it down to 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, before it can be turned into ice. Let's look at some calculations for this in the modern units for both metric and imperial. So a short ton is equal to 907 kilograms or 2000 pounds. The latent heat of fusion for ice is 334 kilojoules per kilogram or 144 BTUs per pound. So to calculate the latent heat cooling load, just multiply the respective units together. So to convert this weight of water into ice within 24 hours, on the metric side, you're going to need to extract 303,845 kilojoules, or in BTUs, 288,000. To find our hourly rate of cooling, we just need to divide this number by 24 hours. So on the metric side, 303,845 kilojoules divided by 24 hours equals 12,660.21 kilojoules per hour. And then on the imperial side, 288,000 BTUs divided by 24 hours will give us 12,000 BTUs per hour. Now for the metric units, since kilowatts is a rating of power based on joules per second, we need to divide 12,660.21 kilojoules by how many seconds there are in an hour. So if there's 60 minutes in an hour, multiplied by 60 seconds per minute, that will give us 3,600 seconds per hour. So if we divide 12,660.21 kilojoules by 3,600 seconds per hour, then that gives us 3.52 kilowatts. So to convert to other common refrigeration units, you can see on the screen here, I've just shown some worked examples for how to convert between refrigeration tons and kilowatts, as well as between refrigeration tons and BTUs per hour. Now, I won't go into the calculations for these. You can just pause the video uh, if you want to view these a bit longer and make any notes, but they're fairly easy to follow. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it has helped you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Also check out our website, theengineeringmindset.com.